Hello, Technology Crazy here, and in this tutorial, I'll teach you how to jailbreak the 3.1.2 firmware on the iPod Touch or iPhone. Now, this video is focused for the iPod Touch. Since I do not have an iPhone, I do not know what uh, this will work on. I don't know if it will work on iPhone 3G or 3GS. Um, I'm not really sure. You'd have to check out a different video for that. This is basically focused for the iPod Touch. So, first you want to go to the link in my description. Um, and it will say iPod Touch and iPhone firmware download. Now you want to select the firmware you want. Um, so it has to be a 3.1.2 firmware. It can be for the iPhone, iPhone 3GS, um, iPod Touch, 1G, 2G, and 3G. Now before I go any further, I have to tell you that this is a tethered jailbreak. This means iPod Touch 3G um, will not work. So you can still jailbreak, but as soon as you turn off your iPod, the jailbreak will be gone. Um, so what you want to do is you want to click it. I have an iPod Touch 1G here. So I'm going to click on it. Download. Now, as you might notice, it will say a whole bunch of stuff and restore.zip. You do not want to save it as a zip. You want to save it as dot ipsw um, so once you're done that you have to make sure you have the dot ipsw or it will not work ipsw means um, it's uh, formatted for iTunes so iTunes can recognize it so once you're done that you want to click download or save I'm already done that so I'm going to show you the other link in my description now this is the jailbreaking software that you'll need it's called Black Rain, and you can have it for the Mac or Windows. So I have Windows, so I'm going to click on the Windows icon and save. I suggest saving it to the desktop because um, it's easy to access there. Um, so once you're done that and download done all the downloading, you want to open up iTunes. Now, as you see, I'm in the middle of restoring my iPod Touch firmware on 3.1.2 from that download that I just showed you. And now it says verify an iPod software. And this will take quite a bit longer. So, to get you to restore from the firmware you just downloaded, you want to go to this rest uh, restore button. Now, do not click it. You have to hold down shift. And while you're holding down shift, you have to click restore. Now, um, a browse folder will open up. And you want to choose the file you just downloaded. So, the iPod Touch firmware 3.1.2. Now, if you jailbroken before, you probably already know this, but for new people, this is really helpful and crucial to jailbreaking. So, just waiting for it to verify iPod software. It's almost done. By the way, the restore will take probably eight minutes, nine minutes. So get ready to do something else in that time. Um, so yeah. So if you downloaded the firmware from that one website, it should work. You do not have to put your iPod into DFU mode. Um, say with the jailbreak, the jailbreak will be extremely easy. Um, yeah, extremely easy. So. Uh, it's different than all other jailbreaks. You don't need QuickPwn. You don't need uh, Pwnage Tool. You don't need any of that. You just need one file. And I think, how big is it? Let's check. Um, it is uh, 101 kilobytes. Now that's very, very small. Um, okay, so here my iPod has been restored, and it's going to restart. Um, so. Okay, it's almost done. After this, it's going to be extremely easy. It's almost done starting up. And it is done starting up. Now I'm just going to wait for iTunes to recognize it. Uh, 
Okay, it got recognized. It should show up now. Okay, there it is. So, uh, after all that waiting, now you want to close iTunes and make sure it's closed. Um, and go back to where you saved the Black Rain tool. Now you want to click on it, run it, open, run, and you want to click Make It Rain. And now you just want to wait for your iPod. Uh, without any DFU mode or anything, it'll re um, restart your iPod and do all the jailbreaking for you. And here it says a whole bunch of different things. And you want to close iTunes if it comes up. And click OK. So, right now on my iPod, it's just showing that picture of this white um, website, right? That picture right there on my iPod screen. And. It says done, wait for reboot. And that was extremely fast. And now my iPod has a little loading icon on it. Um okay, and now it and now it's rebooting. Now I've never done this before, so um yeah. I'm starting this new just like you will be. Now, for proof, I'm just going to switch to my, the um, camera right now. So, I'm going to... Okay, so I started up the iPod. And, um, so no sign of the jailbreak, but there is a sign of this. Now, um, it's called Black Rain, and I think this is what installs Cydia. So, first you have to get internet access. Then click on that. So, it's looking for it. And click the ones you want to install. Um, and I'll, I'll install all of them. Never tried, and I've tried City and Icy, just never heard of Rock, so let's try that. Downloading. Okay, almost done. Looks like it's going to take a while, so I'll just pause the video and um, come back in when it's all done. Okay, so it says it's done and it's going to respring. There we go. And there you have it. Studio, IC, and Rock. Whatever Rock is. Bye.